Hey guys, Fuginos Maisty here with Android Police. When OnePlus first got released back in May, it only took OnePlus a week to give it the Android P beta thanks to Project Treble. Granted, at the time it was pretty much unusable as it was extremely buggy and had a ton of missing features, but fast forward to now and OnePlus has just released Developer Preview 3, which is a lot more stable, has most of the Android P features, and in my opinion passes as daily driver material. Let's take a quick look at all the new features and design tweaks OxygenOS has gotten with this pre-release. Starting with the look of the UI, everything is now round. From the notifications, quick setting panel, and tiles, to the pages within the recents menu, search bars, and more. Plus there are some color changes including the icons within the settings, and the shelf panel within the stock launcher. Like stock Android P, OnePlus is also aiming to make all system icons outlined, with some being circled, but that is still inconsistent in some spots such as the icons in the quick settings panel which are still filled in. They're probably going to fix this in the next release. They also tweaked the look of the volume and power menus. They look and work the same way as the menus found in Android P on the Google Pixels. The recent page has gotten a complete overhaul. It now uses horizontal scrolling instead of vertical and app previews are now much larger. To close an app you can swipe up on it and to clear everything you can tap on the X button. The interface for triggering split screen has also been redesigned and it's a lot more convenient to use than the old interface on Android Oreo. It's very similar to the Google Pixel with the only thing missing being the app drawer. Android P on the OnePlus 6 also brings the Google Pixel's new alternative navbar. It's gesture enabled so you can swipe up on the home button pill to bring up the recents page, pull back on the home button to quickly scroll through your previously opened apps, Swiftly swipe right to switch to your previously used app, the back button only pops up when necessary, and if you have auto rotate disabled and you turn your device to landscape or portrait, a small button will show up offering to change the rotation. Unfortunately, there's no quick option to enable this new navbar in the settings, you'll need to use ADB to enable it, and once you have it enabled, you can't use a third party launcher. If you do, you'll repeatedly get a notification telling you that the OnePlus launcher has crashed and you won't be able to switch apps. Still, if you don't mind using the OnePlus launcher and want to give it a shot, I'll drop a link to a next day article where they show off how to enable it manually. Moving on to the settings, as I said before, the icons are now colorful and outlined. The search bar is now right below the action bar, which I think looks messy and takes up a lot of space. I'm hoping they remove the action bar altogether and just leave the search bar as the top element, like on the Pixel. Base level setting menus have also been condensed from 20 selections to only 13. There aren't many new changes in the settings app that we haven't seen before on other Android P devices, so I'll just do a quick recap just in case you haven't seen the new Android P features. There is a new feature flag section in the developer options, which holds a list of experimental features, sort of like Chrome's hidden flags menu, but less descriptive. Under the Wi-Fi settings, you can now meter a Wi-Fi network much more easily instead of having to dig it up in the data saver settings. There is a new service in the accessibility section called Accessibility Menu. It makes it easier to perform nine actions that would otherwise require precise gestures or hardware button presses. Perfect for those who have a motor impairment. Do Not Disturb mode can now do a bit more, but the option to enable it by pressing the volume down key or by using the alert slider has been removed. Still, it can now be scheduled to turn on which wasn't possible before on OnePlus devices, and it can now completely hide most notifications in your notification shade. The battery section looks very similar to the Pixels. The only difference is that you can still see the per app battery usage data. I also like how it tells you how long the phone will last based on your usage and what background apps are using large amounts of battery. Battery saver can now be set to trigger from anywhere between 5% and 75% battery. The only features that don't currently work are the screen usage data and last full charge data. In the notification settings, you can now easily track which of your apps have recently sent notifications and the about phone menu has a different looking interface as well as the Android P Easter egg. There are some other smaller features worth noting like you can no longer reorder home screens on your OnePlus launcher. When opening a game, gaming mode will be more aggressive when letting you know when it's activating. The next alarm and muted slash vibrate ringer status appear at the top of the quick settings panel. Replying to a notification no longer dismisses it so multiple replies are possible. The Bluetooth icon will only show up in the status bar when you're connected to a Bluetooth device. Otherwise it'll disappear even if Bluetooth is turned on in the settings. There are some sweet new animations sprinkled throughout the UI. Text selection now has a zoom lens, which surprisingly is another feature OnePlus devices have never had. The unlock pattern now fades as you swipe. And lastly, the USB menu is now a full-fledged menu instead of a pop-up when you connect your device to your desktop. Those are most of the main changes I have found on the OnePlus 6 running the Android P beta update. Of course, there are smaller hidden features and under the hood changes that I left out. So if you want to know every new Android P feature, then check out this article by Android Police. 
I'll leave a link right below that like button. I haven't experienced too many bugs on OnePlus's latest beta. I only experienced a few freezes and force closes when I manually enabled the gesture navbar. That's probably why OnePlus didn't add an option in the settings to enable it just yet. But other than that, this build is definitely usable. I'll drop a link to the latest flashable zip down in the description. Either way, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Android P beta update on the OnePlus 6. Drop a like if you enjoyed, get subscribed for more awesome Android content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.